What's up everybody, this is Carrick with ACG and welcome to another video. We're doing a first look at the Alpha of Everspace from Rockfish Games. Now Michael, the CEO, was nice enough to shoot me over this Alpha because backers were starting to get it. And I had done the interview, if you guys saw the developer interview I did a couple months ago with him about Everspace and all of the different unique things that he's doing there. As well as, of course, this is one of those games that's getting out on the Xbox. You guys know me. I'm a space fighter shooter style of game player. I love those kind of games. So he's nice enough to do that. I've got the HTC Vive set up, so I'm going to do a little bit of VR as well. They have stated that that is available. But remember, this is an alpha. There are a lot of issues here. There's a lot of things that he stated will and will not work. So this is in no way, shape, or form a finished product. Looks to be, oh man, uh, you guys know me, space, great, but I gotta invert this sucker. Uh, there it is. For some reason, when I'm using a HOTAS, uh, inverted's great, but when I'm using a thumbstick, it's just not for me. Use this with boost, move forward, strafe, aim turn, and hover. So at least right now it doesn't look like I can twist. Maybe that's just a controller thing. We'll check. Right now I'm using the controller, then I'm going to switch over to the mouse and keyboard. I'm sort of just going to go through this as a uh, person who's getting it and just playing around with it in different in different aspects. I love that little tiny bit of vibration in the ship when you fire those off. You know, this is going up against big dogs like Star Citizen, of course, and the game that's already out, which is Elite Dangerous. Um, but they've made sure to sort of stick a little bit more to the arcade routes. Man, that smoke is abs. That is an amazing looking effect right there. I will say one thing, it looks sweet. It's getting a really good frame rate. There's a tiny occasional judder, but I think that's just what I'm using to record this. I'm using OBS and it's lovely occasional mess ups, but it feels good control and everything's spot on you know as an alpha i think that that's the most important thing i mean these games they're bread and butter for me they're like one of my most favorite things but when it comes down to it if the control isn't set then what do you do oh i see okay it's definitely set up in a little bit more of a what you see is what you get kind of even in the menu which i like oh there's a little bit of slow down there most likely from all these clouds coming up still though Really, really cool. You know, a lot of alphas, I can't even get to run on the damn machine without something breaking up. Fire primary weapons. Destroy the moving targets. Coming in. Oh, that's a cool thing. Okay, if I'm not crazy, there might be a little bit of a lock-on, uh, sort of an aim assist. I could be wrong. Uh, there's This is super early, so that might be there just right now. It might be an option, but that felt a little bit like there was aim assist, which is actually nice when you're just jumping in. Keep in mind you won't be able to return to locations. Okay. Of course, this is, again, the alpha. What that means is that what all this, the way it's set up and the way you travel and stuff like that, none of this is set in stone. So it says, oh, you can't go back. We don't know exactly what how they're going to handle the main game. So we're not going to worry about those things right now. I guess I'm trying to make it to the jump gate. Uh, we got low. Let's do that. Looking for fuel. With your last jump, you use some fuel. There's one of these asteroids right in front of you. Okay. There it is. Man, this is amazing looking. Very, very sweet. Runs really well. Really nice. Here in a bit, I'll shift over to the uh, Vive, and we'll see how this looks in VR. You guys saw the demos. You saw all these different things. You know, uh, one of the things that Michael's been really upfront with is what issues they've had in development. So one of the things they've talked about is, unfortunately, there's an issue... Uh, in Unreal, in their version of Unreal that they have, which causes an issue with the exhaust in their ships. So the reason why we're in first person is because third person view is missing some effects. There's no real reason to see it. I mean, it's cool. I'll show it to you and you'll see it occasionally, but unfortunately it's missing a lot of the cool effects we saw until they get that patch fixed and, or that bug fixed. And it is not, there we go. Oh, what's, what's going on here? Oh, um, maybe I have too much. Uh, it's not an issue with their game. It's an issue with the actual engine they're using. And it happens. This is so, you know, as somebody who plays free space all the time, still, uh, with crossfire mods and all that kind of stuff. Oh, are those? Oh, shit. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. I have a sinking feeling I might have just caused a problem there. <laughs> Explore by detonation. 
Oh, nope, they're taking him out. Maybe I should, hmm. They're not, oh, yep, now they're after me. All right, oh, man. Oh, my God, it's like Slave 1 with their lasers that go a 1,000 miles an hour, their turbo lasers. <laughs> Annoying as shit, but very cool looking. Just 800 shots at once, man. Ooh, got you with the missile. And? Oh, he's still alive. Oh. Oh. Panic with the thumbstick. Yeah, the thumbstick is good. It does work, but I have a feeling once we switch over to mouse here and just a sec. Oh, that was cool. Just a second, it'll uh, be a little bit better. Right now, you just get to see me looking like a monkey fucking a football. <laughs> no, so, in the... At least right I'm seeing in this controller mode, I'm trying, I'm hitting all the buttons. I'm not able to twist. So uh, that I, I don't see them skipping that out on the controller version on the Xbox One that we know this is coming out for. So I'm assuming that's just not built in right now with the controller. Or I missed it in the instructions, but I certainly didn't see that. Oh, cool sound effects. You can hear that laser. Of course, you wouldn't hear shit in space, let's be honest. But you hear that laser hit that metal there. This is uh, one of the busiest skyboxes I think I've ever seen. There we go. That's pretty easy to do the, the warp, so you don't even hit a button. Now, remembering, of course, that these guys made a bunch of mobile titles that were actually considered fantastically detailed for mobile titles, especially when, they, when the first one came out. So what we're jumping into here is going to be a game that's sort of making that transition to PC and to... Uh, console, and I think it's best, yeah, see, mouse, that works. I can twist there. Uh, I think it's best to remember exactly, you know, what they're going for, which is different than those others. Uh, can I switch? There we go. Sorry about that. I had to jump out and reset the Vive a little bit. And of course, the Vive, right now, there's some games do a proper aspect ratio when it comes to the video. Some don't. I'm not quite sure exactly how to set that. It's I'm new with the system and different settings, direct, not direct mode, different resolutions, mirroring, all that kind of stuff. Uh, many times just give you awkwardly different uh, viewpoints of that. But here's what it looks like in real space. That is very cool 3D view of the ship. I really like the look of that ship. Yeah, just all of this. Um, I'll put the vibe on here in a second as well. Again, I just wanted to test that. I thought it might be a little easier. Again, they made sure, you know, this is, uh, as I said, an alpha. So let's travel to another low risk. For some reason, I just have this feeling that the moment I go to the medium or high risk, it's going to be <laughs> just an ass kicking contest. And the other dude's going to be made out of nothing but limbs. Alpha build popping in. Oh, great. Oh, just really cool. All of these post-processing that they have going on, the different effects. Of course, with the mouse being able to twist and turn like that makes aiming just so much easier. Jump drive coordinates created. Let's uh, check these duders out. Say hi the American way with missiles. That's the only thing. There's, there's, sorry, I wanted to switch on the VR really quick and surprise you guys. <laughs> uh, that didn't work as well as I thought. Let's straighten out here. Okay, let's get, okay, something's going on. Let's try this again. And of course, the moment I get it fixed, I'm being shot. So one of the things, oh my God, they're just turbo lasering me to death. Die, die, sucker. So the presence is really, really high in this. I have to say, after playing a little bit of Elite Dangerous, playing uh, multiple just different games with VR and messing around with these, the presence here is actually higher in this game. And the 3D effect itself is higher. Now that might be because this looks a lot better than Elite Dangerous does. Elite Dangerous has a particular issue with the vibe, number one, but also just the screen door effect in a dark game like that is noticeable. It does a weird thing where you can notice that. Here with the brightness of the overall look of these areas, it really makes every single asteroid look like it has varying degrees. I'm sure you guys have played you know, or, or watched 3D movies where it almost sometimes just looks like there's planes of 3D and there isn't really a 3D effect. It just looks like almost like paper lines. Here, especially right now, this asteroid just looks amazing. I mean, every piece is fully segmented. Just a abs absolutely phenomenal overall feeling of presence in the game. 
That's a good start. It's a good start for this because I've been overly unimpressed with the rift and with the vibe when it comes to space games. I'm not one of those people who thinks Elite Dangerous with a vibe is a game changer. I actually think that, uh, and especially the rift, because I was told the rift had better, you know, text. You could read the text and you can a little bit better, but still that dumbing down of the resolution really absolutely hammers it. This one still has that lowering of resolution. Uh, it's going to be difficult for you guys to see in the video. So I'm taking it off here. I should have probably hit, oh, there we go. There we go. Um, so that, that difference in resolution there, I want to talk about this for a second, is noticeable when you get into these games. You guys got to realize when you get these titles and you start playing them and you put that headset on, no matter how good a game looks like this, it will still have some issues there in the headset. I have to say, though, I've been bitching about new tech lately, but it's funny. New game, this, and new tech actually works better than old game and new tech or, you know, game that's sort of set up for this. This just looks really, really well done. I'm going to have to go around. So on the thumbstick, which is what I'm using again now, uh, up and down on the left directional pad, adjust, it, adjust your vertical. And I really do I like that. Sorry, I just wanted to go in here and see if I could, if there's settings to adjust... Uh, Energize Boost, Gatling. I was hoping that there was uh, adjustments for power. Oh, so I can repair, or can't I? Um, so, again, this is an alpha, so some of the stuff I'm probably trying to do is not even built into the game right now. Just figured we'd jump in and see just how much. Star map, stats, challenges, that's pretty cool. All right. So again, on the left thumbstick, uh, up and down adjusts that verticality. And I like that because it makes, you know, on a controller, it can be very difficult sometimes to really get space games right. In fact, many times you feel like you always need to move forward to go up or down. You know, you can get that confusion, almost like you think you're in a plane that needs forward lift. And here, the way it's sort of translated onto the controller seems to be really good. Unfortunately, lacking that twist, but it's still there. So we're close. We're close. I, I have a feeling it's going to get to the point. Oh my god, that is just insane looking. Wow. Sorry, I was just quiet there. You know, yeah, a lot of you guys tease me and say that, you know, my excitement for game shows through and stuff like that. Sometimes a little too much. Uh, but I can be hard on them too. And, you know, but my hat's off to somebody when, when they release something like this that's supposedly an alpha. And, oh my god, the streamers on that laser looks insane. Okay, I'm going to take him. I think this was the guy was hitting. Okay, yep. So with the controller, there is definitely some aim assist. And boy, is it well. Oh my god, he hits hard. Of course, you have two weapons. We've got the Gatling and some kind of laser gun. There we go. And, come on. There we go. Picked up fuel. This reminds me of the ending of Empire Strikes Back. And, and they show that medical ship. And you see that look out there where Luke is looking out the window and he sees that big Milky Way galaxy. The only loading that actually occurs that I've seen uh, in any way, you know, it's not like Starpoint Gemini, which loads seamlessly, but you have that pause. Here, you basically pick your sector and you, you don't see anything during the time you're warping. I would like a game if a game's going to have warping in it i can't wait for the title that has warping still takes a while but you can do two things one you can walk around the ship and you can do different stuff and two of course then you can just speed up time oh okay this is it i mm, man i have a feeling i have a feeling i'm gonna get jumped so what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna play this see if i can get to this next area and then cadiz and i are gonna play it uh switching off both in the real view as well as the the vive and sort of show you guys uh the differences there but this is a good quick look it feels right you know at least right now if you definitely sat me down you said hey you have two hours to burn you want to play this and fly around i say sure you know oh wait i saw an arrow to the left there um some kind of maintenance maintenance bots uh, and, and we'll look at the Vive a little bit closer, like I said, later on instead of right now. Because uh, it will take... I I'm going to do some finagling with it. There's some options. Oh, oh shit. Taking them out. Oh, wow. Okay, this is definitely more bad guys than I was prepared for. Let's boost out of here. Boost, boost. 
almost. There we go. Wow, they and they turn on a dime. I love it. They are not. Where are my missiles going? Shoot him, not. What the? Okay. Well, got him anyway. Oh man, there's so many. There's no way I'm gonna make this. Low health. I get it. <laughs> this is just great looking, and it controls even. Even that little swaying that I'm doing with the controller, that's definitely me um, trying to get it locked in because my brain's telling me, oh, there's no, yep, got him, sucker. You know, my brain's telling me there's no auto aim or there's no aim assist because I'm so unused to it, but there is aim assist, and so I keep going right over the cursor when I shouldn't. Definitely my fault. Look at that. All right, so. Jumping into a new sector. Oh, wow. Oh man, this is Titan AI, ice crystal planet, sort of. Hmm, there's a pause here. It's just playing the music. There we go. Decided to put this on for the last bit. Look at that. Yeah, okay, so I'm telling you right now, best presence I've seen so far. Yeah, best presence I've, I've in, enjoyed so far in a VR game. It Like, turn into the side, but looking to the side like this, you can... There's something about the way that they're doing the 3D effect. And also, I'm, I'm sure it's the color. You guys need to realize that 3D does need light, right? And all of the, a lot of these dark games that are trying to do space, I get it because space is dark, but the, the addition of the light really helps things pop. It makes it so much easier to see. Suck out. I love that little, you know, the little smoke and stuff. Oh, there was a laser behind me. Oh, yep, he got me. Going down, Johnny. Johnny, help me. Yep. So, uh, whoa, went to a different uh, screen here, most likely because I've got the Vive on. But I'm going to come back to this. It's going to be Cadiz and I all weekend. We're going to be doing a bunch of videos. We're going to be doing some Hitman live streaming. We're going to be doing some of this. We're just going to be playing around with the Vive as well and discussing our thoughts on it. Really excited to continue playing this, guys. This is, I, I mean, Everfall is something that the moment it came out graphically, it really interested me. But also just the fact there of that light that we have going on. I'm going to have to restart this. Of that of that light, the ability to see what's going on around you absolutely helps in the presence of the game. When it comes to comfort and stuff, you know, it's so strange. I'm playing a game right now for review and moving with the controller forward and backwards makes me very ill almost instantly. Yet in a space game, which just it completely surprises me in a space game and stuff like that, and there's scientific reasons why it doesn't bother you as much, but it doesn't. You know, I can do it and it's no big deal. So, hangar... Just, uh, I was hoping I had other ships. So again, you guys will see more stuff this weekend. A ton of different videos, everything from Hitman, like I said, to more of this, for sure. Let's see what happens when I do... Upside Down Vive. Go. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Peace out.